Oh, hey there. How are you? It is full-on winter here now. It is uh, 30 degrees and it's been snowing on and off and I'm freezing because I get cold easy. <laughs> so I have a fun indoor activity that if you have not tried, it is a great one to try, especially this winter. Real quick before we get to that, I want to show you a cute rear view mirror charm I got from Sierra Rose Jewelry. It is so cute. Um, I also got a really cool ring. I'll show it to you in one of my other videos when I have it on. But it is made out of a pickle fork and it is so cool and unique. So here we have the rear view mirror charm out of a fork. It says fork on. It swings so it looks like it's rocking on while we are driving, which is pretty fun. And you can adjust the length here. How fun is that? I love it. So very unique stuff. You should definitely check it out if you're looking for something similar to that or there's the jewelry, purse hangers, some different varieties. So as you might know, the new thing that is popular is ax throwing. And we actually have a place here in Billings, Montana, the open called Ox Indoor Ax Throwing. So me and Drew went and checked it out this past weekend and it was so much fun. So I'm gonna tell you about it and then I will add in some videos of us actually doing it and what it looks like so you can get an idea of that. Do you like my Hobby Lobby bag in the back? Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> um, so pretty much how it worked was you went online to their website and reserved a spot and you pay for half of that price to get your spot reserved right then. So for example, for two of us, it was $32 total. So I paid 16 when we reserved. I paid the other 16 right when we got there. And then for every person you add on to that, it is a higher cost. Um, so for example, we re I reserved a spot for three o'clock and then from three to four, we had about an hour that was our reserve time and we had a lane reserved. So once we got there, we got there right on time, checked in, paid that other amount, and then they actually went over a little safety talk. Um, we had to sign the waivers since it can be a little dangerous. Um, so we did that. She did say when we left uh, within the next year, if we go back, we won't have to redo that because that'll be fresh in our minds. The waivers will still be good. So um, we did the safety talk and then she took us to her lane and they did kind of give us tips throughout because it was a lot harder at first than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, I was literally expecting to go and just start throwing them in and being like, oh yeah, look at me, like this looks easy. It took me a little while though to get a system down, like where you stand, what size is best for you, um, the distance away from it you are and kind of get that technique down. Um, one thing I found kind of surprising was that the bigger axes were actually a little bit easier to get farther because they're heavier than the smaller ones. So me personally, I was a little freaked out at first, like, oh, I've never really held an ax. Um, so I started with the smaller ones because they weren't as intimidating. Well, that's actually harder. So after we went for a little bit, I actually got kind of, I got it down with the two-handed throw. Finally, by the end, I had, was able to do it with a one-handed throw. And then it was fun because they actually had some games. So the better we got at it and the more comfortable we got with it, there were some games like 21, you know, in 10 rounds, the person closest to 21 would win around the world. So you'd have to go, you know, in the different target zones in and out and there were two really hard ones so that was kind of fun because we played some of those games against each other they had a whole list and even some of the games I was like I am not that good at this you know by the end I really got in the hang of it and I was like this we definitely need to come back and do I guess they have a league you can join also which would be kind of fun but like we were saying I mean it's it's a great activity especially for indoors when it's cold so I know we will definitely be going back but even in summer too like it's something I would definitely like to keep doing and keep getting better at and it was a ton of fun so make sure to check these videos out kind of get an idea of what it looks like what the lanes look like um, and I would totally recommend doing it make sure to like this video if you like it um, subscribe for more content and Make sure to comment with any questions or just any comments you have out there. I would love to hear from you. And if not, I will catch up with you guys here again soon. Bye.